pulmonary embolism is obstruction of blood vessels of the lungs by clots carried by circulation it is a serious life threatening disorder and hence trying to prevent it is very important clots can also migrate from the blood vessels of the tummy but it is not easy to prevent blood clots can form in the veins the blood vessels which carry oxygen poor blood to lungs for oxygen enrichment when you move your limbs the muscles contract and compress the veins which are thin walled blood vessels this helps to return the blood from the tissues of the body with less oxygen to the lungs muscles of the legs as they are more powerful has an important role in this returning of blood from the tissues to the lungs for oxygen enrichment this function is lost when you are bedridden after a major operation or illness or delivery and blood stagnates in the veins of the legs this leads to formation of large blood clots in the veins of the legs and sometimes of the tummy tendency for clot formation increases after delivery or surgery as a protective mechanism to prevent blood loss women taking birth control pills may also have higher clotting tendency because of certain hormones contained in the pill clots can also form in the leg veins when you sit crouched up in a long haul flight for a long period occasionally this may occur when you travel in a car with very little leg space for a long period as well in case of flights it has been called economy class syndrome because leg space is much less in economy class compared to business class so it is clear that the simplest way to prevent clot formation in the legs is to move them a lot in a person who is walking about you don't have to bother about it because it comes naturally but when you are bedridden or crouched up in a vehicle you have to do it with a conscious effort though it is quite simple to do the benefits are much more than what you can think of movements of the ankle can be done easily when you are traveling whenever possible move your knees as well because that needs more powerful muscles which can pump more blood back to the heart and lungs same applies to persons taking rest after surgery or delivery you can move your ankles and knees as much as possible of course a person with a fracture in the leg cannot move his legs like that and doctors will prescribe blood thinners to prevent clot formation for them other methods used in hospitals are specially designed compression stockings and mechanical devices which use a cuff to compress the calf muscles intermittently in bedridden persons at home relatives or caregivers can take turns by passively moving the legs as much as possible if there is a dedicated caregiver it makes a lot of difference in those with fractures and other painful conditions of the legs medical advice should be sought as to the extent of movement which is permitted and what to do to avoid too much pain remember that by preventing clots in the veins you are preventing a life threatening disease known as pulmonary embolism and it is a great thing so as the old saying goes prevention is much better than cure please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you